the process of dynelling this little old town yacht tender here now. And uh, we've got one side of it complete, but it's kind of under the plastic there, so you don't get a real good look at it. But uh, the transom's also been dynelled, and it was wrapped around the corner and then kind of scoffed off very nice and neatly. And now it's time to dynel this side here now. I'd just like to explain to you some of the problems of working with dynel. If I was to lay the dynel on the boat right here and start resonating it out right on the boat, you have to make awful sure, you have to work the cloth an awful lot because if you don't, you get resin under the cloth. The dynel is a polypropylene. It floats up on top of any excess resin. If you dump any excess resin on it, all the resin will end up under the cloth. It doesn't work at all. It's a struggle. So what we do is we put the dynel on a table where it's ideal conditions and we resin it out on the table and then we roll it up on a stick and then we squeeze all the excess resin out on the stick so that as we unroll it over here on top of the boat what will happen is the dynel peels off the roll. It has exactly the amount of resin in it that's necessary so that when it lands on the boat it doesn't float up. We're not going to add any more resin to it until afterwards. It's enough resin to glue it down. It could be slightly starved in appearance when we're done, but that's okay. Now we're using 5-ounce Danel, and we're using MAS low viscosity resin because it soaks into the cloth very easily, and it's very, very slow going off, so we don't have any problems with the resin in the pot or while we're spreading it on the cloth. Now, we've done our ferrin right here in the wood. We don't want to get the cloth on there lumpy or more resin in it over here and less over here and all these different kinds of inconsistencies. We'll be happy if the cloth is just a tiny bit, tiniest bit starved in resin when we, release, uh, when we pull the release cloth off and then we're going to just coat it out again and sand it and that'll be just about it. Then it'll be ready to be primed and painted and you can see behind me we're resining out here the cloth at this point. What we've done is we've just put the resin on the cloth here and the best way to saturate the cloth really is the weight of the resin. You can see that right here the cloth is already saturated where we put the resin on there. So I'm not really that interested in spreading it awful thin. What I want to do is get a thick layer on there like that so that the weight of the resin works itself down into the cloth. Okay, see I'm spreading it. I'm holding the cloth from wrinkling with one of the little spatulas here and pulling the other one along. Now I'm going to reverse direction and go the other way. And I don't want to get too many wrinkles in front of the trowels here. And you want to get a nice generous supply on there to start. And I'm going to spread that out in numbers of ways here just to make sure it's everywhere. You have to be very gentle with the cloth otherwise you'll pull wrinkles into it or you could, you could snag the nap there and, and make a mess of it. So this is the way to do it right on the flat. Real nice, no dripping, no mess. And just keep spreading it. Now we're actually spreading the resin along underneath the cloth because like I say, the cloth floats up on top of the resin. So there. We don't have to get it saturated right to the very edge, but up close because this is where you can see the shape of the cloth right here. This is the stem or the bow end of the boat. So we're going to lap that around the edge of the stem right there and we just want to make sure it's nice and resined out because that's an important part right there. And we're just trying to get enough resin on there. It's a little bit excess so that it saturates the cloth very well. I've got nice and neat. He's got it down to here. And then once he's got that cloth saturated like that, we're going to squeeze along with the same equipment here, the resin under the cloth, so that it isn't all built up in any spot. Now the cloth is very hard to handle because when you try to pick it up, it stretches and ruins the whole nap of it and everything. That's why we can't lift this cloth onto that boat without the aid of this stick. So we're going to roll it up on this stick here, finish rolling, so that you can, you'll can you see how much extra resin we've got in it. You know, just pick it up again. Yeah, okay, what I'm doing is just taking my fingers and just squeezing out some of the extra resin. 
out of the cloth so we don't have too much in there. And you can see it just laying on the table alongside, but I think that's actually gonna be it right there. Basically got it wrinkle free now and we're just going to make sure we don't have any, any, any heavy wrinkles or any heavy puddles and we can look at the nap and if we want to take anything out of it, now's the time. And it's all spreading out very nicely and right after we get this step done we're going to stretch that release cloth nice and tight over the top of it. I'm just pulling on the nap here now and squeezing a little resin towards the edge and uh, making sure we don't have any wrinkles. Trailing edge of the after end of the stem cap that's going to butt up against the little wooden keel that's going to be put on top right here after the dinel is dry. So we're just trying to get it nice and neat around there and you can see the dinel will hold around these corners if you're very careful with it. So obviously here we've got it stretched out over the dinel that was on the transom and on top of some blue tape there. I can cut that with a razor knife afterwards and relieve, remove all of this cloth right here and uh, the corner will look fantastic. So we just spread the uh, release uh, material on top of the dinel and you can spread it out with your hands nice and neat like that and that kind of draws some of the resin up against the relief material and creates a nice flat surface like that. So we're actually going to spread it out with our hands. The resin doesn't even come up through that. We want to make sure it stays nice and tight, so I'm actually going to tape it down to this blue tape to keep it taut here. And what we're going to do here now is staple the last the shear down to cross and get most of the wrinkles out. release cloth is spread out on top of the dinel. I can take my hands and rub it a little bit and spread out some of the spots that look like they got a little a bit more resin in them. But like I said, the, the only thing that we might have when this is done is slightly starved cloth and then we're just going to go over it again with a little bit more resin and that'll be complete. Now we've stretched it nice and tight all the way around. And this boat right here is actually pretty much stretch the limitations of how this release cloth can get around a shape like this. We have it actually stretched very tightly on top of the dinel and that's what it takes. So now when we rip this off after the dinel is dry, after the resin's dry, we just tear this cloth right off and it'll be right within a, a nice light sanding and then a little bit of resin over the top of it, and some primer and some paint and she's gonna look great.